Hello and welcome to another Artificery streaming series. Today I have for you Lennon against Joe Honestly Sarcastic. And uh, this is round one of the August 20th Entourage Gaming Tournament. Welcome. I'm your host, Arathian. Excited to be here. And we're going to be seeing some spice. From the Leaden. Woot woot! Uh, also appreciating Joe bringing a different deck than his usual shenanigans of droids or some variation of fives <laughs> or Anakin and FC. Although he did spice it up recently as well with his um, Wookiee build. Anyway, <laughs> he actually put a clock. <laughs> so last time, last tournament, he was in the finals and uh, lost on time. Uh, even though it was technically not time. And so I made a joke saying you should put a big fat clock. And guess what? He listened to he put a big fat clock. Although I think the time is off a little bit because um, I think round one... In the tournament, they're being a little bit more forgiving. I think they're grinding like an additional five minutes. Anyway, back to the game. We're seeing the resource here. Let it come out with a Yentangle, which is huge because uh, um, uh, knowing Joe, there's a good chance that there's a Reap there. Okay, so this is interesting. Okay. <laughs> He's like, go ahead and draw two cards, buddy. You don't have any money, so... Uh, it spends so. Uh. <laughs> Len's like, are you sure? Are you sure? And you're like, yeah. Joe's like, I'm sure. Don't worry. I, I mean, I bet like this kind of ruined a little bit of his plans. You know, I, 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 if I don't see the hand of Joe here, but you know, I'm thinking, I'm thinking there's a Sheen mastery and a Reap there. Or a dead field. We'll see if I was right. After, um, okay, so two damage from Vader straight off the rip. Um, you know, I'm intrigued about this Java deck. I've seen it do some work um, before. Uh, two shields here and a dollar. Uh, not the greatest, but uh, there we go. <laughs> He's really like, you know, getting money, Freddy. I'm not allowing to get any money. Now Palpatine, Palpatine's a leader, right? Is he not? Yeah, he's a leader, so he does have soft flats, and so he does have the option to flip. And we'll see, he didn't want to discover for the plot, so we'll see at what point, you know, does he fancy himself using that plot, uh, I mean the battlefield versus doing a reroll. This this probably should be his last reroll. He didn't even look like he wants to reroll, because it's a reap and a strong upgrade. Let's see if I'm right. Joe, if you're watching this, am I right? We'll see. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, I mean, honestly, uh, I'm kind of laughing, but like, doesn't matter a lot. Um, what would he have done with the shields? I don't think he would have done a lot. Okay, so maybe there's a f the third card could be Forsaken? I don't know. We'll see. I mean, there's a good chance... Yeah, I mean, he has for, like, he, he's gonna have Forsaken somehow, I... Like, <laughs> I'm kind of expecting Joe to just have Forsaken here. That's his last card. Yep! <laughs> okay. Oh, it was gonna be so beautiful. It didn't come to pass. He could still get there. He could still get the money. Oh, he does get there. <laughs> Ooh. Oh no, but there's a selflets. There's the selflets. Okay, but then that's gonna cost him. It's gonna cost Joe's hand, and I I think he wanna discard that hand. I think it's gonna be good. Yeah, it was the reap. It was a four cost upgrade. Okay, it was not Shen Mastery. So, you know, that was my bad. But still, I mean, uh, uh, you know, good hand. Good hand for Joe. But good on Ledin for stopping the ramp round one. Um, fortunately for Joe, 
that was not like his Shen or something. Like, I mean, Force Lightning, I mean, it's strong. But, I don't know. I think he might have been more disappointed with Shen. Although, Shen's not that strong against uh, this deck here, so. What is he, what is he trying to fish for here? Really? Huh, interesting. I don't know if I use Reap here. Maybe have a second Reap. I'd, hmm. I think that's a little bit early, maybe. So I, I guess like the second Forsaken on the shield was maybe a mistake. And retro obviously everything's like 2020, right? But like the shield didn't do anything. He was not gonna resolve that shield. Let's be honest. And it didn't look from the way he was posturing that he wanted to reroll either. So keeping the second Forsaken, oh God. <laughs> oh, this is too funny. I mean, I don't know if, uh, yeah, how much it does at the end of the day. He could still, like, put a, a big upgrade down. But that's, it's funny to see the denial. Is he going straight into, like, a... <laughs> he could go and roll these cards. <laughs> Make it a mill matchup. Okay. Does, um, I haven't seen... Hit motive yet, so I don't know. I'm not sure if he runs dangerous maneuvers. Um, I mean, desperate measures or not. Um, it, it'd be curious to see that. Now, the big thing here for a discard here would be pretty sweet. No discard. Joe's probably like, let's get these dice up before it becomes removable. Okay. So that's a, that's a good roll. That's kind of dangerous here. I got the paid off. She's not too shabby. See if he got reap here. I mean he might have a second reap, we'll see. But Yeah, and he's still getting to his money now with uh, you know the and the second entangle just a one dollar. Given the one reap is gone. That's kind of also kind of like an interesting equation to weigh. Uh if you can't stop it, do you just blot here? Or do you like discard to reroll? See if you get a discard side. And now he doesn't have the reap, which is so disappointing. I mean, he did have the South Flats defense. Probably gonna be draw two again. I'm assuming. No, okay. Oh god, and he has I was thinking, I was thinking, does he have it? And yeah, he does it. He does have it. Good player always has things fall into place for him. Imagine though, he's like two money short. This is not. This looked like a horrible game for Len. I mean, I was kind of like. It was kind of funny removing the resources and stuff, but like, Len's doing nothing. His Vader is already kind of like. half. over halfway death. to death, and. I mean, he hasn't even soft landed yet, so like, 
you reroll here, that's gonna get blanked. If it's a good roll, that means he has two cards left. Yeah, that's a blank. Southlot's doing so much work in this game, too. It's almost like you have to, like, take the claim. <sighs> yeah. Gotta get that soft flats. So this is one of these games where it's like if you're playing casual, and some people are not gonna like like me saying this. Uh, but if this is a casual match, I would just say, hey, well played. You know, you won. Because it's like, it's kind of one of those, you your death, you're dead. You just maybe don't realize that you're dead. But you're dead. <laughs> and Joe is like, you're not gonna remove my water dies again. I'm just gonna roll out and kill you. Maybe he doesn't have any upgrades in his hand if he does that. What else could he oh he does he have fatal blow here? Two three is five which is thirteen. I bet he has fatal blow. Because he does that. Especially also because he didn't like bother like didn't look like he was fishing for upgrades. I wouldn't be surprised if he had fatal blow, but he doesn't. Okay. So now he's forced to take the shields or die or remove a die. It's either way, it's not pretty. I wonder what's in his hand if he didn't have Fatal Blow. Huh. <sighs> okay, and does Leaden have. Uh, he doesn't even. Ugh, it's so disgusting. It's so bad. It's so bad. Oh god. There's something obscene about being able to bring back Shan Mastery several times. <laughs> Just something feels like ugh, icky about that. <laughs> He's getting his own and tackle. <laughs> revenge! Ah, oh, sweet revenge. Oh, God. I was the guy of hope. I mean, I kind of knew this was... In the back of my head, I knew this is probably not going to be going foul for nothing. But you hope... You hope that you get an interesting match. So disappointing to see... And not turning into one. Although I've seen I've seen this deck uh, before, where like it's like round two, and there's like Vader fists out, and there's fickles, and there's a bunch of other like entourages, and like it's going really well. And part of it is losing the battlefield role for sure. <sighs> the other part of it is also not yeah I mean he could have gotten all that stuff ages ago yeah and he, you knew it was an event hand like at that point right like he he rolled that like like I said like you know it's an event hand otherwise he would roll a water so 
the desperate measures was definitely kind of part of the possible set of things that you could be seeing from that deck. Anyway, I mean, this is now complete another wash for Lennon. Like, it's actually, like, it's beyond disastrous. Also, I mean, it's not, like, a great deck for... Because, like, the whole purpose... I mean, one of the premises of this deck is, like, you know, it's, it's support-based. And you have a deck that has two desperate measures. Oh, ha, 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 ha. There's cocky in here, so it's like going half on a mill strategy. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I know it's not a mill deck. Okay. God. How long is Leaden gonna endure this torture? That's the question. <sighs> See, Joe, um, sometimes, like in his, like, Faithful Companions discussion, he was so precise about the order in which you activate the plot and roll out the dice and stuff, so... You know, why is he precise in, like, spending the resources and getting the refund with the uh, lightsaber? Hmm? Palpatine's a little staber. His stick. I haven't, like, paid 100% attention. I don't know if there's, like, a second... Um, if he played his first aspirations or not. <sighs> Let's see. If he didn't, leave it up to Joe to wait until Leden's gonna roll into the two dollars to then crush his dreams even further. I think that's like one of the favorite things for Joe to do. To kind of like make people hope against all possible odds. Something's possible only then to kind of take the wreck from under them. What? What is this deck? A Kylo Red Starfighter? Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm so confused. You gotta figure, this is like a, a Palpatine that's been deprived of Waddles dies for two rounds, and still, he killed Vader in two rounds. Or was it three? I forgot. But anyway, very fast. And now he draws us his jacks, which is like the worst possible thing. Uh, yeah, <laughs> well, it was not the dollar, but I knew Joe had it. <laughs> Joe was just waiting <laughs> to rub it in. So looking at it, How did, did, did Joe heal? Did he have, did he have shields that I missed? I don't know. <laughs> the moment Palpatine decides to pay that off, you know that he's in good shape. Just the amount of money, like he has like the plus two and he's like, ah, I'm good. I appreciate it. <sighs> he just wants to go for the kill.
we're seeing the end of Leaden nigh. The end is nigh for Leaden. Poof. Yeah, all the damage on the board except for one dice resolve was from desperate measures. So it's like mm. <laughs> okay. Let it against Joe. The expected outcome. Although, again, we'd love to see another result. A closer match. Maybe not another result, but at least a closer match. A competition. Man, EG against EG, and we're, we're catching like, woo, we've arrived just at the right moment to see Lanza deliver the final blow. Oh, he does it! He does it! Ladies and gentlemen, Lanza the champion beating Mephisto. <laughs> okay. Is this round over? Is there any other matches? Let's see. And they're still chatting, but Norm yeah, of course Norm. Norm is always gonna be playing still. Now watch me be proven wrong. Maybe they're just chatting. No. No, but it's almost over. And Norm seems to be the one on cleaning duty. And will be taking it home momentarily. I think we're just about in time for the final blow here too. Yep, that should do it. Oh God. Oh. I love how Norm is like super meticulous about like what card should I discard? Yeah. <laughs> there we go. So we catch that end of the game as well. I think that must be the last one. Okay. Let's go to the chat for a second here. And there we go. Hmm. It looks like we actually still might have some games here, according like unless people just keep talking to each other. Let's see this one. Nick the bug against the machine. Yeah, I mean he seems to be cleaning up quite nicely here. The board state from One Love is very good. So, depending on if there's removal in hand, let's see. It could be two, five, seven, nine, eleven. 11 
I think it's pretty realistic to go look. And he's already at five. No, you can't. Now he's gonna shield for three. Why would you do that? You got time. You can just you just build up until you have enough and you just one shot somebody. And for sure this was like Does he have hunt them down or something? He didn't pay for that. Um, See you, little silhouette of a man. Okay. A lot of a lot of plots here. It's a very curious board thing. One Love definitely has a very good board state, but he's kind of low on HP. There could be a fist with that money. Where's the fist? It's a good thing for Nick the Bag that that wasn't a gun. It's the worst possible side. Well, it's not the worst possible, but it's kind of a bad side. He needs to knock off their shields from Qui Gon so, so badly. That's nice, he can flip. And that that works barely, right? Like if you look at the math, that works barely. Or is it on one of your characters? No, it's on your characters, that's what I thought. Yeah. The nice thing is he has autofocus with his little chats. And he's gonna go back up with the shields. Ugh. Okay. Hey. So we're in the final minutes, I assume. This is not the main game I cast, but you know, I know it's getting up there.
Oh, okay. This is a pretty close match. Wallops definitely had a board state, but he kind of has an HP problem. Yeah. Oh god. His dice are his his dice have been betraying him for a while now. Although like last round he really ugh, played it very suboptimally. So oh, so he's taking money knowing that there's a two disrupt there. Why why? Oh. You don't care about the shields right now. Like you just have to like you need rerolls. Uh Yeah, that's what I was saying. I'm just surprised as well that like he doesn't disrupt off the like don't don't roll in more dice. And you fickle can get stole like just disrupt. Oh god. But like he had a trooper to focus that too. Like Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's 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 pretty bad. So la so last round he had like I think he had the ability to like flip to 11 damage with what he had on the board. And instead he resolves like 6 damage. And then Qui-Gon takes 3 shields again and then he deals the other 5. I'm like, oh, no. He certainly likes to roll his disrupt. <laughs> uh, but like his guys are so strong. Oh my god. He has so much dice. Just disrupt him, buddy. Come on. <laughs> At this point. I'd like to see his discard pile right now. <laughs> it's start to do the maths. <sighs> well, maybe there's a resilience there. Or something. Or, st sorry, Steadfast is what I was trying to say. He, like, he re-rolls and he hasn't even have all his dice in the pool. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. It's absolutely... That's disastrous. You have such good dice. And now he's gonna disrupt with the two. <laughs> he just lost the tree from like, oh god. Well, he can still flip the the fist, which should, yeah. So, okay, best case scenario, his his uh, little. Trooper rolls out the focus, he flips the fist, and then he has a focus left for another two. Which and then the conscripts lost plus two plus two. <laughs> Best case scenarios. Four, seven, uh four, seven, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen damage is the max he can get this round. That's enough to kill Qui-Gon. I mean uh, no. He did, I mean, he, um, he paid it off this round, but he could put it back on. Okay, so he doesn't have removal. It's an upgrade. Is it a Neiman? 
that is an even. Yeah. Okay. So, pretty sure Yoda dies this round unless he kind of does roll the 14. Which is very unlikely. <laughs> but hey, he's he's only seen this rep, so maybe he gets lucky now. He he actually sees the he sees the plus twos and stuff. Yeah, but if he rolls perfect, Qui Gon dies. No. Oh yeah. Let's see if he remembers it. He does remember it. Looks. He gets both of them? Just one, right? Wait, why is Nick putting it in the back? Because I think he was pointing to it. Oh, it's the focus! <laughs> ah, bless Yoda. I mean, it's still not huge, but it's it's nice. God, God, taking the bounties back for rerolls. Oh my God, <laughs> that would be insane right now, especially since he has the two focus. I mean, doesn't he have to resolve it? Yeah, he's, so he's resolving straight away. Wait, that's your choice? You have like a natural. No. Let's see if he applies the plot. Did, did he take eight? Two, four, five, six. Okay, maybe we just. Let's just Oh no, because the, the the other one was yeah, it's six. Okay, makes sense. <sighs> okay. Is what? I've joined the game pretty late, so. I wouldn't be able to tell you for sure. God! It's terrible. Yeah, well, that's game. Yeah. What a, what a god roll there. <laughs> if he has no removal. What a. But yeah, like. Ugh. For sure, One Love uh, should have won this game. Because you came in already, like, when there was, like, a, a bunch of, like, pretty significant mistakes made. And even then, it was still kind of, like. How much damage did they kill to, to take to get Yoda? Five. How did you do? You won your game? Hmm. that's round number one.